Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we're talking about the dark types that you can find in the Diamond and Pearl remakes. The first one we'll look at is Honchkrow. So this is a dark flying type Pokemon, and it actually has pretty good stats. 125 attack, um, and a 105 special attack means uh, you can hit things really hard with that physical side, but you can actually have some surprise special moves too. 100 HP is pretty good, but 52 defense and special defense isn't the best. 71 speed's pretty middle of the road. Um, however, it does get the move Sucker Punch, which is a priority move, which actually is a great thing to have on your Honchkrow since it has a 125 attack and it has um, Stab on that Dark type Sucker Punch. So I think Honchkrow is a really good Pokemon that could actually do a lot for your team. Next up is Skunk Tank, and this is a Poison Dark type. It has a 103 HP, which would be good, but its defense and special defense are on the lower side, so it's not really that bulky. 93 attack is decent, and an 84 speed is decent too, um, so it could probably help you out in certain places. However, there are other Pokemon that are actually better than Skuntank, um, and actually Drapion, which we'll get to soon, I feel like is the better Poison Dark type. Next up is Spirit Tomb, and this is a Ghost Dark type, meaning the only thing it is weak to is Fairy types. This thing has a 108 defense and a 108 special defense, which is really good. Um, 50 HP, though, is kind of going to hold those stats back. 92 attack and 92 special attack is also decent. Uh, 35 speed means this thing is very slow, um, so you're not going to be hitting first that often, unless you give it Sucker Punch or Shadow Sneak, which are actually great ideas to put on your Spirit Tomb so it can still go first. Um, so this thing does have some things it can do. It can be a, a decently bulky Pokemon if you uh, train it upright. Um, but really, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to use um, on your team. Next up is Drapion, and this thing is a pretty decent Pokemon, and I feel like this is the better Poison Dark typing. It has a 95 speed, which is pretty decent, and a 110 defense, which is pretty good too. Um, a 90 attack is decent, and you're going to hit things pretty hard. Uh, so being a Poison Dark type, you, you've got Stab on Dark type moves and Poison type moves, and this thing actually does not get Sucker Punch, so this actually helps you out with that speed because you can actually outrun things decently. And I have to say here, I don't remember if I said this thing gets Sucker Punch back in the Poison type video, but I'm going to correct that here. So yeah, it does not get Sucker Punch, but it's still an amazing Dark type, Poison type Pokemon if you need one. It's got amazing attack potential especially with that defense, that speed, and a 90 attack stat, uh, this thing could actually do some work. Next up is Weavile, and this is probably one of the best dark types within the game. It's a 120 attack, which is great, a 125 speed, which is amazing. You're gonna outspeed a lot of things. It does have the ice typing, uh, which that makes you defensively weak to a lot of things. However, you're not worrying about this thing's defense because it's got a 65 defense. It's got an 85 special defense, which is actually surprisingly decent. Um, however, this thing is not intended to be taking hits. It's intended to do a lot of damage early on. Um, so I think we've all is one of the best dark types within the game. So looking at some of the Pokemon introduced into the Platinum decks, the first one's going to be Umbreon. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite dark types. This is actually my favorite dark type. This is a really good bulky Pokemon. It's got a 95 HP, 110 defense, and a 130 special defense. You can take tons of hits on this thing and still have an Umbreon pretty good health, um, but this thing's not very good offensively with a 65 speed means it's slow, a 65 attack, and a 60 special attack. You're not doing that much. However, if you need a good utility Pokemon, this thing gets Wish, Hill Bell, stuff like that. If you give it foul play, you actually don't have to worry about your attack stat, but it goes based off the opponent's attack stat. So you can still do some offensive stuff there with this Umbreon. Um, but the main thing with Umbreon's is it's meant to be a bulky utility Pokemon, and Umbreon's one of the best. So looking at Houndoom, this Pokemon's actually pretty decent as well. It's a dark fire type, which is a cool typing combination. It's got 110 special attack, which is a really good special attack stat. 95 speed is decent, means uh, you're going to be able to outspeed quite a few things. 90 attack is not something to ignore. Uh, you can actually use that if you really want to. Um, and it does have decent special defense at 80 and a 75 HP. The defense stat's really low, but of course, uh, you're not wanting to use this thing as a Pokemon to throw out there to get hit. You want to use it out there to hit things with that special attack. 
So this thing would be an amazing dark type on your team. So looking at Absol, this is actually another decent dark type Pokemon. Its best stat is a 130 attack, which is amazing. However, unfortunately for Absol, its other stats are kind of middling. A 75 special attack and a 75 speed. Um, those are pretty decent numbers, especially that speed stat. 75 special attack means you're not really going to be using that much. And it is a pretty frail Pokemon with 60 defenses. Um, so this thing is meant to be a Pokemon you send out there. Uh, to do as much physical damage as you can. And if you give it Sucker Punch, it will be going first. However, that's the best probably option for an Absol to make use of it. Um, so if you use this thing, uh, keep in mind it's slow and it's kind of frail. But with that attack stat, it actually could do a lot for your team. And even though Darkrai is technically not a part of the Sinnoh decks, it is a Gen 4 Pokemon. So I feel like I gotta talk about this thing. Um, since it is a Pokemon that you probably won't be able to get through um, the game with, you'll probably have to get it as a post-game Pokemon. You're not really going to be using this as your in-game Dark-type Pokemon. But if you're using this thing competitively, it is an amazing Pokemon. It's got 125 speed, which is amazing. 135 special attack is great as well. And 90 defense, special defense means it can actually surprisingly take a few hits. Um, so Darkrai is an amazing Pokemon. It probably will be an uber Pokemon if you try to use it competitively. And yeah, this thing is a great Pokemon. So that's all the dark types in the Diamond and Pearl Remakes. Which one are you going to use, if any? If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.